Welcome to Sachs Dynamic Analysis Mode Shape Extraction. Let's start copying these three files from our reference files folder and rename the C state input file and the structural model file. Now let's create two new files static super element folder and the mode mode shape folder drag the structural model file and the c state input file to the mode mode shape folder and the psi input file to the static super element folder Go to the mode shape, open up the structural model file with preseed, go to joint, joint properties, and let's check this joint. As you see, the fixity is 0000, and we're gonna change this to 222. O, o, o for some of the joints. It depends on the judgment of the engineer. So we created a list of joints for this exercise. We can read this list by going on File, Import, List Input File, and in the reference files folder, there is a retained joints list. Open it, click OK, go to joint, fix cities, and click load. So in the red, you can see the joints that were at the list. Now type 222000. Click apply. Just take a look at the joints. You're gonna see a triangle. And now go to weight, weight combination. The name is mass. And we're gonna select area. Equipment, Live, and Miscellanea. The Live load, we're going to use the factor 0.75. Click OK. And that's it. We can save our file. Now open up the C state input file with DataGen. Delete the allowable stress modifiers line and all the loads in the load condition selection. Delete all the loads also and load combinations. And now we're gonna insert the load conditions. Insert input line, look for load condition, and the first one is called dead. Click apply, go to insert input line, and look for dead load. Click yes. Insert input line and look for weight selection. And here we're going to include the anode 
and the walkways. Here goes another load conditions. This one is called mass. And weight selection is the weight group that we used called mass. And we are going to accelerate that using the acceleration input line 1G in Z direction and here change to exclude structural weight. Click apply. And the next load condition is a wave load condition. Go to load condition the name is one now include the wave wave generation line click yes and let's change the wave type to stream function the wave height 6.1 meters the wave period 12 seconds direction 0 and the crest position tab change to degrees wave step size gonna use 20 degrees and static steps gonna use 18 the critical position is going to be maximum base shear. Click apply. And we are going to create another load condition with a wave for the 90 degrees. So let's change the wave direction to 90 and the load condition to 2. Now we're gonna create the load combinations. Go to insert input line, load combination input line. Yes. The load combination name is SUPX. The load cases are dead 1.0 mass. 1.0 and 1 1.0 and the other one is y and here we're going to change to 2 go to load case selection line and include these two new load cases. Click apply. And now we can save our file. Next step is to create the super element. Go to the static super element folder. Analysis generator. Reset analysis type, static, static analysis with bio-soil interaction, select the environmental loading option, unchecked, element check option, and graphical post-processing option. The file ID is SSE. And let's select the sex model file. It's inside the model mode shape folder. The C state input file.
and the PSI input file. Click at the Edit Foundation Options. At the Foundation Super Element option, change it to Override Create Biohead Super Element. Let's use maximum load and deflection. The first load is sub x and in y direction sub i. Click OK. That's it. We are looking for this file, which is the foundation super element file. Run the analysis. Oh, no errors found. And here's our super element. Now go back to the mode shapes holder. And now we have to create the Zimpack input file. Go to data file, create new data file. Dynamic tab, Zimpack input, input file, click OK, and gonna insert the Zimpack options. At the general tab, you're not gonna change anything, just to emphasize, we're gonna use the number of modes equal to 10. And in the mass tab, we're going to change the mass calculation option to consistent. The mass is from sex load option. We're going to use convert sex load to mass. And sex load direction for masses, use minus Z. That's it. Click apply. And we can type the end line and save our file as dynimp.dyn. Close the file. Go to Analysis Generator. Reset Analysis Type. Click Yes. And the new file ID is modes. Select analysis type dynamic. Extract mode shapes. Environmental loading. Check this. Select the sex model file. Steel state input file. D impact input file. And in the solve options, include super element file, change to yes, and select the super element file. Click OK. And here it is. Now we can run our analysis. So no errors, we can open up the listing file. Let's look to the weight and center. Here's a summary of the weights. We can also look for the frequencies. Here it is. Also, we can check the graphical results by double clicking on Post View Database. Go to Deflected Shape Options. Let's check the mode one. 
row 2, 3, and so on. We can also animate that. Okay, so that's it that we wanted to show you. I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.